and welcome to Lady Parker Wine Reviews. Here I have with me a Marlborough wine, because I'm in Marlborough, absolutely. This is a Spy Valley Sauvignon Blanc 2010 from the recent vintage and just recently been, a, been released. Now Spy Valley is a well-known and highly regarded winery in the Marlborough wine growing region. They're based in Whitehall Pie Valley and they're named so because there is a, a, actually a spy base in the Whitehall Pie Valley which is uh, just essentially down the road. They, the road, they look fantastic. So it's uh, big white round domes of, um, for all the intelligence uh, collecting movements that go on for satellite movements and that is a relationship between New Zealand and the United States of America. So there you go, a little bit of uh, incorporation of that, that relationship and a, a neat twist to uh, espionage or you know, spy bases. So just on the road we've got Spy Valley, they've been there for quite some time now and they're in collaboration with a, uh, with a family owned vineyard called Johnson's Estate and that is all the state growing. The Spy Valley looks after those, and this fruit is all from um, those Johnson Estate vineyards and also some other vineyards around um, that, that, particular, that particular area. So the soil is uh, free draining, uh, gravelly alluvial soils, which um, Sauvignon Blanc does very well. And this is a particularly good example, I think, of a uh, Marlboro South. Quite interesting, I think. So let's have a good trip to the try. Spy Valley has uh, is quite committed to its environmental uh, footprint, I guess, and so for that reason they conform to uh, international standards for environmental um, management and environmental systems that they have in place. So that's great, and they've been awarded for that too with um, Marlborough's Environment Award. And I think that also quite important to point out that Spy Valley has also won uh, producer of the year in the international. Spirit, uh, wine Spirits Commission in London, and that's the one that uh, twice now, I believe. So that's that's correct. That, and obviously, a testament to what work they're doing and um, the great processes and quality wines that they're producing. So there we are, pouring it out there. We've got a nice pale straw colour, what we would expect from a Sauvignon. It's had a bit of le uh, lees ageing, so for a couple of months before. Uh, bleeding and bottling. Mont nose. Mm. Definitely, I get definitely much more along the uh, herbaceous green spectrum, which comes from uh, pyrazines um, that are naturally present. Pyrazine compounds. So, such things as green capsicum. I also get a bit of tomato vine as well. Quite sort of almost grassy, and I get gooseberry, a bit of citrus, and yeah, altogether a lovely nose. Mm. On the palate, it's got great acidity, it's quite refined and quite bright fruit flavours come through on the palate and yeah I mean it's, that's that's a great a great wine it's well balanced and uh, I think that it's gonna be great for a for food wine and uh, yeah I mean it's just it's vibrant it's vibrant it's alive and it's quite exciting so that would be great to um, pair with uh, some uh, either seafood or um, perhaps uh, a nice antipasto platter and perfect for lunchtime um, occasion. 13.5% alcohol, so not incredibly high um, at a good, a good alcohol rate. And that uh, retails for about the $19 to $20 mark. So that's great, it's a reasonable price point. And um, yeah, no, that's from a fantastic producer in Marlborough. That is a really good example of a Sauvignon Blanc that tends to go, go along those, that, that lovely. Um, yeah, more green and tomato vine spectrum, but still with those great uh, fruit elements in there. So that's the Spy Valley Sauvignon Blanc 2010. 
and I look forward to reviewing more model lines with you over the next few weeks. Thanks for watching 95 for Wine Reviews and have a great evening.